welcome back to another RGM Garage episode and as promised on the last episode today we're going to be working on the XJ750 engine Alright guys, so as you've seen, I had spent a little bit of time and done a bench on the garage and reorganized everything so that, you know, working on bikes, you know how much bench space is precious, uh, especially when taking an engine apart, um, you want to lay down everything as you take it and lay it in a way that you know what goes where when you put it back into place so this is what I spent a bit of time doing uh, it's not finished uh, the idea now is to put a piece of plywood um, covering the top uh, something that can be replaced if it breaks uh, but the structure is here is proper strong it's not going anywhere so yeah this was my project over the last week. So today we'll be working on this engine. As I told you last episode, we are going to tear, tear it down, tear it apart, and check the inside. Uh, I know that it was smoking uh, from, I believe from one of the cylinders is smoking, uh, but we're gonna tear it down look inside and see what's wrong with it so come along in the journey and i hope you enjoy it and remember covid19 stay at home stay safe and um, well work on your motorbikes so let's get stuck in so the first thing i want to do is to remove these spark plugs And what I'm going to do is to lay them down in the order they come out so I know which cylinder they're coming out from. From up here, the world seems small. Next is this rocket cover. It's so beautiful. There's something you can see in here. It's silicon, and uh, this is the reason why you don't put silicon in your head gaskets or any gaskets. From a distance, you can tell. As you can see in here, the actual gasket is glued to the bottom just with a flathead screwdriver, just gently pry them out. Side cover on this side as well as the one on this side. 
All right, guys, so this is the moment that it can be very scary for many people. Once you get all the um, covers off, then you have to dig into the engine. So that's why you should always get a trusty Ains um, manual. And this will explain you everything on how to open an engine. And I guess someone done the same because clearance, pod tools, pods. <laughs> Let me just show you. And it's exactly on this page. So, and this guides you through on how to remove a cylinder head and take an engine apart. So I'm just going to have a quick look into it. Um, see the steps on to how to remove this uh, cylinder head and I'll be right back into, with you. Okay, so following the instructions on the Ains manual, it says to turn this wheel anti-clockwise, so anti-clockwise this way. And uh, the top that center mark is aligned with this mark in here. Um, but it also says that it proves difficult to remove uh, two of the bolts from the uh, crankshafts um, chain sprockets so it says to back it up a little bit until they are exposed and do those two then move it onto top dead center and then do the other ones uh, and also to remove this uh, chain tensioner which is at the back of the block just here remove the two allen bolts so that it will slack the chain so, first thing So the manual advises to remove the uh, sprockets prior to removing the chain, uh, the crankshafts Although it's proving rather difficult for me to undo these little bolts in there and they do mention it on the um, manual. So with an open wrench like this what's happening is just jumping out of the bolt. So for me not to ruin these bolts I'm going, I'm going to remove the caps before I take the sprockets. So very gently the manual says in a diagonal sequence uh, to undo the caps on the top which what will happen is the springs will push the camshaft up as you are doing it. So I'm going to start by this side. I can see that the only load that's engaging is this one. Um, so very gently, half a turn at a time. Of 
quarter turn, quarter turn. All right guys, so after a bit of reading and looking about on the manual, um, down there on this page, so down here uh, on the assembly bit, uh, this is the reassembly, it says that the crankshaft should have a mark in there, not sure if you can see it, so it's supposed to have marks in there to indicate top dead center um, which I cannot find so what I done I got the center cups place them back in uh, in the engine on the crank uh, it's loose it's only loose it's not pressure on anything any part is on pressure nothing is on under pressure so it's it's safe to be like that so what I done I made a couple little marks here uh, from the chain onto the bolt and I also very simply got myself a sharpie which is actually the black one and basically made a mark in there and in there right onto the cup so when I come to reassemble it, I know this is the way that I took it apart. This is the way that I have to put it back into place. Bear in mind, the engine is at top dead center by the marking on the flywheel. So I didn't make any mistake. I did actually place it in top, top dead center before I removing any of the uh, cups any of the pardon me any of the uh, crankshaft caps so now I'm just gonna remove this back off again uh, take the crankshafts off and jump in to remove the uh, cylinder head Ooh, Bella Bella and the car and the she's amazed with bikes Motorbike! <laughs> Thank you. 
I've done a quick tidy up of the bench, put all the tools away, and um, I've done a quick inspection of the valves and cylinder heads. Um, look at these pictures right now, and you can see it's quite a bit of carbon and grind and dirt, but nothing major. So this will be for today. Um, the cylinder head is out. Um, next step will be to give it a good clean, um, change the valve stem seals and perhaps um, do the valve seals itself with a bit of, um, well, you'll see next. So this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the teardown of the top half of this engine and stay tuned for the next episode where we're going to take care of this cylinder head. As always, take it easy, ride safe and well, don't ride um, if you don't need to uh, with COVID-19. Please stay home, stay safe, save lives and enjoy as much as you can your time in the garage. So, see you next time. Ciao!